So I have a background painting graffiti for many years, and I never actually had any formal art school training or anything. And everything that I learned actually came out of my roots painting graffiti growing up in New York. Uh, a lot of my friends grew out of it. You know, they grew out of getting in trouble, but I stuck to it through college and into my nine to five job. I kind of lived the Clark Kent lifestyle of painting with any free time that I had. And I finally decided to quit my job in 2013 and pursue art full time. It started with the Chinatown mural we first painted in New York. There was an amazing wall in the neighborhood that I had my eye on for years. I wanted to paint something positive for the community and the postcard style mural was perfect because it included both lettering and relatable imagery. Normally the locals wouldn't look twice at graffiti as street art, but we created something the community could be proud of. From there we saw the potential of directly involving the neighborhood in the murals we create. The Greetings Tour is a nationwide postcard mural project. It started in 2015 when we left New York in a small RV to see the country and to paint murals for the public. After a year of zigzagging America, we wanted to keep going, so we made it our mission to paint a postcard mural in every state. Together, we're the perfect combination since I shoot the photos that we paint. I also document the process of painting and our journey as a whole. There are many reasons why we believe in this project, but personally, what we do every day has been passed down to me. Growing up in Ohio, my dad opened up an RV business in 1973, and then down in Florida, my grandfather was a commercial photographer. He always used to tell me stories about how he wanted to travel and shoot like Ansel Adams, but he never had the money to do so. It wasn't common like it is today, so in a way we're fulfilling both of their dreams. The murals are actually based off of large letter postcards that were really popular in the mid-century. There's a few thousand of these original postcards and I nerded out and started collecting them all. We often use them to pull inspiration for colors and layout, and to date we've painted over 40 murals. The murals naturally become landmarks, and people who aren't even into art, they can relate to them. Uh, it's also a great form of place making. And we love seeing the art take on a life of its own after we're gone. You know, people get real creative with how they interact with the art and photos. The Montana color palette is actually perfect for these like bold and saturated postcard designs. Uh, they have really rich color selection. And the brand in particular, it lasts longer than other like high-end latex paints and other spray paint brands we've tried in the past too. What we've learned from this project is it's possible to think of something and make it happen on your own. It just feels awesome to do something that we said that we would do for so long. Combining what we've learned and everything we can do together to make something meaningful for other people and not just for us. Seeing the country on top of that, that's the dream.